It is a Central Florida tradition driving on some local beaches, but right now, Volusia County Commissioners are considering a plan to remove more cars from the beach. That's right. It's a proposal that's creating plenty of controversy. That meeting room is packed with people wanting to make their feelings heard. West Coast Claire Metz is live in Deland, where that meeting continues this afternoon. Claire. Yeah, it's the county council, ch county council chambers. You know, there are only 17 miles left of beach you can drive on. At one time or another, there were 47 miles of beach for driving. Some residents say they don't want to lose any more, while others say traffic free beaches would lead to a better economy, more high end development. Now, take a look at the beaches we are talking about. Today's county council is considering three ordinances. Two of them would remove beach driving from in front of two luxury resorts a proposed Weston and a Hard Rock in Daytona Beach's core zone. A third would create standards for any future developers who request the same traffic free zones. Developers would have to provide adequate off beach parking just for beachgoers with handicap access. And the resorts the county would grant traffic free zones to would themselves have to be premier, five star, guaranteeing jobs and pay. Some say the court needs rejuvenation, others that the county is giving away the public beach. It is a positive step. It is one that we will never regret, and it is a strip that in the future we will look back and say, hmm, good job, y'all. And these tourists that support my business come for beach driving. I think we're underestimating the advertising power that this beach driving gives us. Turn off your cell phone. Now, we want to take you into the meeting right now to show you how crowded it is, how many people feel passionate one way or another about the longtime tradition of cars on the beach. All in the crowd were repeatedly warned to be civil and stay within their three-minute time slot for opinions. There is a group called Let Volusia Vote who have collected thousands of petitions demanding the county charter actually be amended so that voters would have to give their approval for any changes on the beach. County leaders say that petition is unconstitutional. That has yet to be decided. Now, the meeting is ongoing even as we speak. They had set aside all morning for it. It looks like it will run well into the afternoon, but county leaders are expected to vote today. We're live in Deland, Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News.